Hi, I am Dr. Vaibhav Deraje. I am a consultant craniofacial and plastic surgeon, Bangalore. Metopic synostosis is a type of craniosynostosis where one of the suture in the midline of the forehead, that is over here, right in the front, is fused earlier than usual. Now, metopic synostosis is one of the most commonly seen craniosynostosis in India. Unlike in the West, the sagittal synostosis is quite common. But somehow in India, we notice that metopic synostosis is one of the most commonly seen craniosynostosis. Now, when there is a growth plate here in the midline of the forehead, if that fuses earlier than usual, this kind of metopic synostosis happens. Now, what happens in metopic synostosis? In metopic synostosis, as you can see, the shape of the skull has become triangular. That is because this suture over here in the midline has fused earlier than usual. So, there is lack of growth here in the forehead on both the sides. As you can see, the skull becomes triangular shaped and that's why it is called as trigonocephaly. Now, metopic synostosis babies can have some speech and learning difficulties too. That is because of localized kind of a problem in the frontal lobe of the brain which can cause these problems. So, early treatment is absolutely essential for children with metopic synostosis. Now, this treatment can be done in two ways. One is endoscopic strip craniectomy and helmet therapy which is done usually if the child comes to us before six months of age. That is crucial. Coming early to a craniofacial surgeon is absolutely crucial because we are able to get away with a smaller and a safer surgery where we just take this fused suture out and then we follow it up with some helmet therapy to improve the shape of the skull. Now this is possible only if the child presents to us before six months of age. Now unfortunately if somebody is not able to reach us before six months of age the only other procedure that we can offer is something called as a fronto orbital advancement and remodeling. There what we do is basically open up the skull take this triangular shaped abnormal shaped bone out reshape it and put it back so that the forehead becomes nice and flat. This is again usually done at the age of around 9 months of age because at that point of time the bones are soft and pliable and we can bend it easily. But if you ask me which is better, it's always better if we do the endoscopic strip craniectomy followed by helmet therapy because it is a smaller operation and a safer operation.